What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Wiper31 here. We're back. Another episode of Fallout 3. The last episode, we were in the Dumb Witch Building. And we shot out a bunch of ghouls, got the bobblehead, found some weird-ass ghoul named Jamie, killed him. Because, you know, fuck it. And we're moving on. We're moving on. Now, before we get into what we're going to do today, I want to give a shout-out to Lost Lonely Dog. I literally just read your comment, replied. And I just want to say thank you, dude. It really does mean a lot to me. To see that people actually care enough about my video to say that I should have more subscribers. It's really nice of you and that you liked it. Or you could just be saying it's so bad more people should subscribe to watch more to make fun of it. Which I can live with that. But, you know, just thank you, dude. Thank you. Really, like, I can't express enough how much it means to me. But moving on, we are outside of the Yagwai Tunnel. There's a little shithole cage out here next to some enclave. Bullshit. I don't even fucking know. Let's show y'all where we're at on the map. Data world map. We're way over here on the left side. Uh, there's Smith Casey's garage. So one square up to the left. And you'll find it. And let's go inside. Now this might be horribly hard because of all these Yaguas. You know, you never know with these Yaguas. They can just be vicious beasts. They can tear you to shreds. Like it's just awful. Awful, awful. Just how rude they can be. Oh shit, I can actually jump that? God damn, I didn't even know this was here. It's becoming a theme for me as of late. I just recorded my Skyrim episode. And the same thing happened to me. I found some place, didn't even know what the fuck it was. How it got there, but I found it. Ain't much point to back here, but... Alright, let's continue. So we're coming down here, watching out for the horrible beast known as Yaogwai. Wonder glue, always nice. Fishing battery. I might get overburdened. I haven't sold a whole bunch because Mora seems to have a money problem at the moment. Don't remember which way to go, so we'll just take the left. Empty. Let's see. Good thing we took the left because the left was a dead end. Turpentine. Metal box. Taking both. Alright, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. So, to the right, coming through here. Our first look at the vicious Yagwai. You can still hear him, but he scooted his ass right across us. Well, right across in front of us. He didn't scoot it on us. That would have been horrible. I don't even want to think about that. I don't. F fuck. Put that image in my head. 100% chance to force the lock. Let's do that shit. The lock forcing, that was something. Back in the old uh, Elder Scrolls games that I liked. Skyrim doesn't have it, unfortunately, but I do like the forcing of the locks about Fallout. Now, the Yagwai scooted ass out here, so we're gonna follow him. There he is, the vicious beast. I don't know if we'll be able to survive this encounter. Let's see, what are those? Destroyed books? And get ourselves a flashlight so we don't miss any small detail like a bobblehead. What the fuck just happened? I got hit five on accident, not positive. Alright, nothing back here. Now, I have gone this bobblehead before on my own time, but I just don't remember where it's at. Hi, Mr. Yagwai. See, these guys would be vicious beasts if we didn't have the animal friend perk. Which we do, in fact, have. So, they won't be an issue. This entire place will be a cakewalk. We'll just... We'll be fine. Don't y'all worry. Basically, the animal friend perk is the best perk to get in this game. I don't care what anybody else says. If you have an animal friend, you're golden. Is that an animal box I saw? No, I don't think so. But yeah, you have an animal friend? No stopping you. Especially not in here. Okay. So the right was a bust. So this pull of, Well, going straight here, but that would be a left from the front. That would be scary if it weren't for the fact that... Turn that shit off. Yeah, that would have been terrifying if it weren't... For the fact that we, uh... We have ourselves in agreement with the Yagwai. No issues. Okay. 
Just come on through here. Now, when it was the ghouls that weren't attacking us, I did attack them. Just because I wanted what they had and I wanted some excitement to be in the video. And I know I could take them. The problem is, I don't know if I can take all these Yagwai. I mean, they're these huge ass fucking beasts. Bears. You say bears. Y'all have any idea how hard it is to kill a damn bear? They don't go down. Alright? You got like, hit E. You gotta shoot the shit out of some bastards to make them go down. In real life. Can you imagine them after they've been irradiated and mutated? Would not be easy. Would not be easy. Alright, so we're farther back here. Nope, not there. Even farther back, Mr. Yagwai, friend. I believe it is in the Yagwai Den, if I remember correctly, so this is good. This is very good. Making our way through. Nice bloody tunnel. Nothing back there. Another Yagwai. How's it going, friend? Further. That's what I was about to say there. Alright. Coming along top. Is this a dead person? Yes, it is. Poor ass dead person. I mean, damn, I know you're dead, but have some caps on you. Jump back over there. I want to check the bottom before we go on through that tunnel. Let's see. At least the. Uh, this little Yagwai den is better than the Death Claw Sanctuary. You go in there, you're liable to just get jumped. Com coming from all angles. There it is. The sneak. Okay. So you take a left, you go into the Yagwai den, you come down this tunnel, you get into this little place, you see that skeleton? You keep on going. You take this little left here. There's a box with a bobblehead on it. And there's your bobblehead. The safest distance between two points is a shadowy line. Very well said. Yeah, any other game. I don't like sneaking in this game. I don't know why. Let's keep it going. See if there's anything interesting. That looked like it went down super deep. But it didn't. Which is disappointing. Alright, I want to make sure we're as far back as possible before, before I do what I'm planning on doing. It keeps on going. Is there going to be like a grandfather Yagwai back here? The Yagwai Matron, maybe? Is that what's gonna happen here? Back into the Yagwai tunnels. Okay, so you probably could have gone straight and reached the same conclusion. Alright. For the sake of video, we are gonna do this. This is against my better judgment. I'm sorry, Yagwai friend. But you're going down. all good okay Yagwai yeah, meat does go for a pretty penny that's the other reason I'm doing this like even considering doing it because I'm all about that caps if you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna sing it I know anybody who watches this wants me to sing it I'm not gonna sing it can somebody tell this goddamn cow that can stop twitching it's dead even if it ain't dead, it might as well be dead, so you can stop twitching. Oh, this person came out of nowhere. Yagwai Den Note. Cool. Let's put her on the speaker. Of course, we have to read it. Nan needs to cut it with these crap stories about beasts lurking in the depths of the cave. Nonsense is scaring the children. I've set up makeshift barriers until we have time to make permanent ones. The barriers are there more for my own sanity than anything. We've been in this cave for a month now, and we've finally been able to get everything settled. It's nice to be inside and not have to worry about raiding parties overrunning our camp at night. We're safe here and that's all that matters at the moment. <laughs> I'll have best to tell you this, darling, but you walked into the wrong ass tunnels. There's somebody else I missed. Very nice. A little bit. Doctor. Personages. And shoot this one out as well. I thought I heard a Marlar there for a second. Like that little sound that they make. A nasty one. That nobody likes. 
Okay, that's the sound I thought I heard. Good thing I was wrong, because that would have been some tough shit, but... Alright, let's come up here and get this guy. No running in this game. Keep on trying to sh press shift to run. Keep on forgetting to talk. God damn. Really need to fix that, alright, Mr. Yaogwai. You've been a kind friend to me. And I didn't kill you there. He still didn't even attack me. Look how nice of a guy he was. So, Yaogwai aren't even going to attack us no matter what. So there's no, there's not even excitement in killing him. Like, the only point to killing these guys right now is to get the meat. Which, I don't even really need the cap. So I think we're just going to make our way out. I mean, fuck that. Just kidding. Just kidding. Combat shotgun's almost broke, but I got more back of the house. Man, these bodies just popped up after I came through. I swear, I didn't miss all these. Alright. Through here. Howdy. Yeah, it's kind of, it's actually kind of disturbing just shooting these guys and having them not even, like, bat an eye. You know, like, when you step on your dog's foot and they start trying to apologize to you and it's like, yo, no, 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 that's my bad, that's my bad, don't apologize to me, that's my bad. And they're just sitting there whining and complaining and apologizing to you and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. You know what I'm talking about? Empty, empty, okay. And that's what it feels like to me right now. That's exactly what this feels like. He turned around real fast, but he still didn't do none. Buddy. Oh, don't, don't do that. They're just, they're purposely making it hard on me now. Oh, I already checked these. Alright, just making our way out. Kick that. We're not going to kill him. Now, we did miss some stuff by not going straight. If we have gone straight at the junction, there is some stuff. So, we are going to go through there. Wait a second. Yeah, this is the right way. I had to do some mental calculations on which way I should have turned there. So, that's just an iron. An urn. Take all that. Take the whiskey. Do that thing. So this is where they were setting up shop, I assume. When they got their shit rocked by the Yagwai. Right in this little area right here. It's unfortunate. You know. This is the way back then, I think. I told you, I have a shitty memory. Alright. Yeah, this is the way back. So let's just walk on out of here. Pretty sure I still missed some stuff. But, it's alright. We'll get over it. <clears throat> so let's open up the door. And here we are, back out into the capital waste. Outcast bot. I almost shot that bitch, but... There were two outcasts around with the bot. They were farther down that way. Let's check up here, just in case there's more shit. Yep. I didn't actually check here, I just saw it and there... Appears to be dead people. In crates. Dead people in crates. Or Ripper. You ain't gonna do much peeking out through the sh like through the hole. Like I don't know why you peeked that if you all you had was a melee weapon. I mean that's just kind of dumb. No offense, bud. Just the other two outcasts, but that was just kind of stupid. Okay, well there you go. That's a yeah white den, down and out the sneak bubble head. Fuck it. You know, we'll do a really white outro because I'm tired of that shit. So, yep, Yagwai didn't done. Get that animal perk, people. Get that damn animal perk.
it will it will just make everything in your life easier. And if you double it up, they'll even attack people for you. That's right, they will attack your enemies. A Yahweh person thing attacking an enemy, those things, enemies go down fast. It's fine. It's, it's awesome. So get those two perks. Well, it's the same perk, but double it up, and you'll be golden throughout this entire game. Almost-ish. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Blah, 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 blah. Forgot how to talk again. God damn. God damn. Anyways, that's going to do it for me this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So if you liked the video, then feel free to stand by for the next one. Thank you.